At last, the government is actually taking meaningful action to crack down on Airbnb. As of September 1st, the Quebec government is imposing a new requirement for short-term rental platforms like Airbnb. If a listing for a rental does not have a registration number and expiration date linked to an official certificate, the offending platform could have to pay a fine of up to $100,000 per illegal ad. All we're talking about now is actually having an effective mechanism in place to enforce the rules where before or there absolutely was none that existed. We think it's a big step in the right direction. We hope that those new regulations will have a direct and rapid impact on illegal tourist uh, accommodation. People who want to rent their properties now have to acquire registration numbers from Quebec's tourism industry regulator and display them in their online listings. If they advertise an accommodation without being registered, they could face fines of up to $50,000. We often talk about harmonious destination. We want uh, a good coexistence of the resident and the visitors, and we don't want them to be deranged by the visitors when they come in Montreal. So there are, are laws that has to be respected. While Tourism Montreal is glad to see the new rules and enforcement in effect, they do see a place for Airbnb tourist accommodations in the city. We think that tourist accommodation like Airbnb bring a unique experience to visitors. So we think that it's a good thing that those kind of accommodations are in the city like Montreal. The Comité Logement du Plateau Montréal, a group that defends the rights of tenants, would prefer to see Airbnbs be completely banned from the city. We see every week people who are being evicted or landlords trying to evict people to convert the rental units illegally into Airbnbs. And so we've seen many people that have been kicked out of their houses who have had affordable rent and are now have had to move out of the neighbourhood, move out of the city or become homeless. Speaking to some tourists in the old port of Montreal, they seem a little divided on the Quebec government's approach to Airbnb. Uh, as an American, I'm honestly not a big fan of government involvement in much of anything, so I, I disagree wholeheartedly. I think tourism's a big part of, you know, most economies around the world, so you would hope that you'd bring more people and have more Airbnbs available. It's not a diplomatic answer, but I would say that any option in between, which is also making sure tourism are happy and government is happy would be uh, the thing that I would give, go for. In Montreal, Gareth Maddock-Jones, City News.